Hi friends, are you looking to screen share a video into Zoom and you're looking to make sure that you are optimizing for video and showing it in the best way possible? Well, I'm an event producer and I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do it in Zoom. I'm recording this in September, 2024, so that's why my controls look a certain way, but this is how I love to seamlessly share a video into Zoom. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson, where we dive even more into some of these topics that I talk about here on YouTube. Most recently, we were talking about event timing tips and really got into the nitty gritty, so it took almost two episodes to get through it. We also have guests who came on and talked about mindfulness and visualization as an event pro, stage management, you name it, we have an episode on it. There's over 170 episodes there for you to explore, so listen wherever you listen to podcasts. So you know if you've watched any of my videos before, I'm a big Zoom person, proponent, is it the best tool out there? No, but it is one that we use so often. And what I find is sharing a video into Zoom can be one of the most frustrating experiences of all the functionality in Zoom. And while it has come a long, long way since we all were really in Zoom back in 2020, it still can be such an easy thing to mess up. And if you're one of my clients, you'll know I always tell you that Zoom is not a broadcasting tool. It is not built for showcasing video at a high quality level. And yet we're using it so much still for meetings and virtual events and often that will include a video. And so here's kind of the steps that I would take if I were working with you to help you share a video into Zoom or just again, to empower you with the ability to do it yourself. All right, so here we are in Zoom. This is my Zoomception, as I say, because you see me here twice, but I'm in my Zoom. I've updated, there was a big update in April 2024. Make sure you did that. That's why my controls look the way they do. But to screen share a video, you're gonna go to share. Then here is where I think a lot of people make their first mistake is they will then try to select that video player from somewhere here in the screens. And the trick here is you actually wanna scroll over to advanced. So once you're in the advanced section, this is where you're gonna see Zoom has put video file as an option, which is pretty great because here what you can see is once video file is selected, over on the right, you can see now they have share sound and optimize for video sharing. If you haven't updated, those check boxes are in different places than what you see on my screen, but most important, these need to be checked. If it's not checked, you will not hear the sound coming out of your video, which I feel like is one of the biggest hurdles. They also look like they've updated to a couple different features now of how you can view and share a video, which is pretty darn cool. I haven't played around too much with this again, cause it's a newer feature. So let's just stay at the example at the standard layout here where it's just your video. You're gonna hit share. It's gonna then just ask you to come up with, you know, select what file here. So I'm collecting my video example and then I'm gonna hit share and I'm gonna hit play. Are you getting ready to plan your next event or maybe you're already in the throes of event? Now I'm pausing the video here just to show you up at the top. The one thing I like that Zoom has put in here is kind of like a confidence monitor for you as the speaker where you can see here it says I'm sharing my video file and look at that little speaker. You are sharing sound from your computer. If you do not see that speaker highlighted next to your video, that means you're not sharing sound. So this is super, super important. Um, here it does let you share computer sound or you can even turn it off in the moment. So this is something I think is a newer update of Zoom. All right, we're gonna try it another way now where I'm gonna share the QuickTime player into Zoom. Are you getting ready to plan your next event or maybe you're already in the throes of event planning and you're wanting to know how you can make the most of your speaker rehearsals? Well, I'm an event producer who has done countless rehearsals from big several thousands of people corporate events to your hundreds for dinners for a non- And so yeah, so that's how you can screen share a video into Zoom. I highly recommend that you actually practice this on your machine, but making sure that you're going to that specialized screen where it's showing advanced and then selecting the video file is going to optimize 
your system the best for sharing a video into Zoom. Again, it is hard because one of my hiccups that I see people make is if they forget to share the sound into Zoom, but then the sound still plays on their laptop or their computer, they think their attendees are hearing their video when they really aren't. And so looking for that little speaker icon is so helpful for making sure that their video is playing correctly. And my final tip would always be to test. I always encourage you to record yourself or have a friend or a colleague or someone who can jump into your meeting and watch you do it and confirm, yes, I'm hearing your video. Yes, I'm seeing what you want me to see. And that'll just set you up for success in the long run because something as simple as sharing a video into Zoom, again, sounds like it's easy, but can easily become such a big hurdle and really difficult to do. Well, that's all I have for you folks. I hope you enjoy my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.